Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, today, verses 23 through 27. Here they are. So this is Jesus speaking. He said to them, You will surely say this proverb to me, Physician, heal yourself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. Then he said, Assuredly, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own country, but I tell you the truth, many widows were in the Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up for three years and six months, and there was a great famine throughout all the land, but to none of them was Elijah sent except to Zarephath in the region of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them were, was cleansed, except Naaman the Syrian. Now, we'll see the reaction to this tomorrow morning, but I want you to notice Jesus, uh, he's not using very good evangelistic principles here. I mean, he's, he's bringing up these people who are despised in their world. Widows, widows, we don't really value widows. Syrians, uh, why would we care about Syrians? You know, we're, we're, we're God's people, who are they? And so Jesus brings up these examples, and what's he showing in these examples? That God intervened for the little guy, for the little person, for the, for the person who's, who's dis, disfavored, for the person who's looked down upon by everybody else. You know, a Syrian? They're not, not Hebrews. Well, what blessings are there for them? And so Jesus is uh, he's trying to crack through their uh, self-satisfied, you know, we're Jewish, we're good. He's trying to break through that. And if and unless you and I, we've got to be careful that we don't get kind of smug ourselves because don't we have the same kind of thing sometimes? Hey, I'm an American. Or hey, I'm this or I'm that. And we have these ways of being kind of smug and well, of course God's on my side. Better check the scriptures again because God is on the side of the lowly. And if you're not the lowly, there's a lesson for you right here. Oh, may God break through. Help each one of us to be humble in his sight. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we think sometimes we're pretty important, we're pretty big, we're pretty, pretty. Uh, you're lucky to have us. <laughs> oh, Lord. We, we thank you for Jesus. Please, Lord, may, may we find humility. May we recognize the depth of our, our sin, our wickedness, our, our disaster, that, that but for your intervention, we are lost. We are utterly undone. Please, Lord, may we not look down upon others. But Lord, may we first let you do some washing and cleansing and show us, show us where we are far, far below the plan you have for us. Lift us up, Lord, and help us, help us until we come to the very foot of the cross, where we can actually look up and see Jesus and actually find out who we are. Because if we're up here looking down at everybody else, we will not know who we are. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may God uh, open your eyes very wide if you think you're something, because Jesus is the one who's something. May his blessings be upon you and upon me today.